since there's been a sh shortage of food and everything else, I've been dehydrating. I've got some oranges for my teas. And in here, I have corn silk. This comes from the corn, this is medicine. So I'm gonna make a tincture out of that. I also have three trays of onions. I'm gonna make onion powder out of them. But what I did with my skins, I'll show you in just a second. Just get this on and get this started so this can start processing. This is gonna go all day. And then I'm gonna grind that up and make onion powder. So, I have one can of corn that's gonna go in, so I'm gonna process some more stuff. I have eggs that I'm processing and onion skins on the back. I'm making onion broth out of. Didn't put anything in, just the onion skins. I'm gonna let these cook down. And this morning, I wanna talk about these. These are fermented pickles. And let me just get the cover open. As you can see, I have all my canning stuff out. This is how it looks. It was ready yesterday. It's cloudy because of the Camden yeast and that does not hurt you. There's nothing, no mold or nothing in it. It went for four days yesterday and I tried them last night. I could not stop eating them. They are so delicious. Just water, salt, and cucumbers. And I'm gonna show you how I did it. But these are gonna go in the fridge because once they're ready, you put them in the fridge. So I just wanted to show you what they look like, but they're delicious. So I have my cover. I got my jaw all rinsed out and I have my cucumbers. You wanna make sure your cucumbers are washed. Now I'm gonna cut the ends off. Okay, I've got my ends cut off. Now I wanna cut them to fit in that jar. So I'm gonna cut them halfway across. Now I wanna cut them lengthways and make them into pieces like that. And I'm gonna show you. Just like this. So I'm gonna keep cutting these. I wanna get them in the jar and I'm gonna show you how that looks like after I'm done. Okay, I've got them just like this and I, all I'm gonna do is keep filling that in until that's full and I'll show you how that looks like. Okay, you can see that it's completely packed. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a brine. I don't measure anything. I just take my measuring cup out and let me get it. And I got my weight in the sink here. So I just take water just like this. This is about one cup or one and a half cups. And I take one teaspoon of Himalayan salt. You just make sure it's a complete teaspoon. Okay, just like that. And I put it into the water. And I'm gonna stir that until it's dissolved. And that's your brine. That's all you need to make these. Make sure everything is clean. Make sure your jar is completely clean. Your hands are clean and the food is clean. Make sure it's completely washed. Now see that? That's a nice brine. So we're gonna pour that over our, our cucumbers. We're gonna go right to there, okay? Then I got these on Amazon. These are fermentation weights. I just take one out. I'm going to rinse it off because even though they're clean, I'm still going to rinse it off. And I'm putting it on top of my cucumbers so they go down into the brine. That's it. You can use the fermentation, um, these here. You see. You can use these with the smaller jars there, um, fermentation lids with um, the bump, so they can get the gas out, but I don't. What I do is I just set that on there, just like that. Just like so, and I put it on a plate in case it bubbles over. And that's all you do. In four days, they're gonna taste amazing. Fifth day, they're gonna even taste better. It depends on your taste, okay? And I'm not gonna waste that. I'll probably get a small one up, put it into a small jar, or, you know, I'll use it. So anyways, that's what's going on in my homestead today. Please like, share, and subscribe, and hit that notification bell for my next video. So this has been going for a while. This here is starting to get really dry and crispy. That's what you want. You want it to keep going until it's all dry. Then look at the onions. They're starting to 
get like paper. You want them completely dry so you can powder them. Okay, now I'm gonna show you over here because I have to hurry. Got a lot going on in the homestead. Just took my broth off. You can see they're still bubbling. This took 40 minutes for my onion broth. I put them in a kettle with the water and boiled them for hours. Then I canned it. The corn is still in there because that has to be processed for 80 minutes. So I'm turning it back on and another 40 for the corn. So I pulled them out because that only had 40 minutes in the pressure cooker, that had 80. So anyways, I'm gonna get back to pressure cooking. This is what I'm doing at my homestead today. Okay, we got my broth done. This is my onion broth. All it is is water and onion skins. You can add salt, you can add popcorn, you can add bay leaf. I didn't. I don't know what I'm gonna use this for, but it's all canned. It's 40 minutes under pressure. And then the corn was 80 minutes under pressure. I have two quarts of corn. I had 12 years of corn and I still have six years to use from the onions. Amazing, amazing prepping. So keep prepping your homestead. Keep getting good food supply. You ain't gonna be able to get it in the store.